Since I figured I would not get a chance to see so many of you in person, I thought this would be the best way for me to share some thoughts with you. Ten and a half years ago, on a fall football Friday, I walked through the doors of Broadcast House, surrounded by legends. None bigger than the man literally sitting in my seat when I strolled into the sports office. Bo Schembechler had just finished taping a Big Ten ticket with Don Shane. He stood up, he shook my hand and said, Hello, young man, welcome to Michigan. I should have taken that encounter for what it was. A perfect momentary synopsis of how incredibly awesome the next decade of my life would be. I met people I never dreamed I would meet. I covered events that sports fans drool over. Check them off. Super Bowl, MLB All-Star Game, NBA All-Star Game, two Stanley Cup Finals, five Final Fours, one NBA Finals, the PGA Championship, IndyCar races at Belle Isle, NASCAR races at MIS, two World Series, two no-hitters, an imperfect, perfect game by Armando Galarraga. I witnessed the first Triple Crown in baseball history in more than 40 years. Michigan and Ohio State undefeated head-to-head, -head, number one and number two in the country. A Rose Bowl, how can I forget the Rose Bowl? Probably my favorite trip of all. And the Lions in London last fall. And WXYZ has sent me around the world. And when we cover things, we go after it. Here's a story. I remember standing in a parking lot outside the old RCA Dome in Indianapolis, getting ready to report on the Women's National Championship game in 2005. Pretty big story. MSU was playing Baylor that night. If they won, they were the national champs. I was the sixth story in the newscast that night. Three stories about Tiger's opening day, a live report from Rome where Mary Conway was covering Pope John Paul II's funeral, and the breaking news that Peter Jennings was diagnosed with cancer. It made perfect sense, but I couldn't believe a national championship game could get relatively buried like that. But that's Michigan, and that's Detroit. There's never a dull day. I could walk in the office and not know what I was going to do at 6 o'clock, and then boom, something would happen. TV is fun and exciting, but it's never more invigorating or rewarding then when something happens in our newsroom just snaps into breaking news mode. We've got each other's backs. We help each other out. We round out a story from every angle with a passion that is palpable. Nothing else. Not even standing on the sidelines at a football playoff game gives me a bigger rush. I heard some good advice once, and I've always tried to follow it. I don't really work for WXYZ or for my bosses here. They sign the checks, they make the big decisions, yes, but really, I work for you. I work for the viewers. And I hope you felt that way. I wanted to be here to inform you, to entertain you, to make you laugh every once in a while. But most important, I was here to represent you when I had to. And I had to ask the questions that you wanted answered. This business is weird. Because if you're good, you get better every day. So something I do tomorrow, two years from now, I'll look back at and cringe at because I'll realize I probably could have done it better. We all learn. We all improve, hopefully. And if you're not improving, you're not living right. Another quick story about how Michigan sucked us in. My wife and I came to Detroit in 2004 driving a Honda and a Toyota. There is no chance you will see me doing that again. Now, I know the people who engineer the cars. I'm friends with the guy who makes the glue that keeps parts of your car together. I've had beers with some amazing people who work at the assembly plants, and they were all awesome to me. How could I possibly buy a foreign car when I have such a personal connection with the heartbeat of the Motor City? Thank you for converting me. Thank you for caring enough to watch on TV. Thank you for saying hello when you saw me at a ball game. You have given my family an amazing 10 and a half years, and we will carry so many of you right here with us forever. Stay in touch. Follow on Twitter and Facebook. And hey, if you're in Boston, give me a shout. Maybe we can grab a drink at Fenway or some uh, seafood at Faneuil Hall. Heck, maybe the Lions and Patriots will play in the Super Bowl someday. Man can dream, right? And I guess that's a good place to end because I feel like I have lived a dream side by side with you for the last 11 seasons. So thank you for being with me every step of the way and so long.